everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Game, and I've got a surprise for you today. It's right, I'm starting after class. A lot of you have requested this, and, uh, oh, I just love this whole screen. This whole intro screen is awesome, and watch this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love the Christmas theme. It's so good. Oh, guys, so I've got everything configured to where I need it. Tim, spend your time wisely. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm entertaining you guys, so I'm spending my time wisely. But yeah, guys, this is after class. This is going to be added to the rotation. I'm very interested to get started with this and see where it goes. A lot of different characters to play with. Uh, play with, haha. So guys, let's jump right into it, shall we? This is our first episode of After Class. Oh, what is your name? Um... Hey, okay, how about, uh, Henry? At, uh, no, okay, Henry. Henry, Henry, I think Henry will be okay. Uh, what is the main character's name? Does anyone know? If anyone can tell me, please tell me in the comments. Okay, let's do Henry. We have to lower some of the sound effects. I lower the music. Oh. I don't want to go there. It looks dangerous. It'll be fine. Come on. But, just once, yeah? Hmm. If he doesn't want to go, he shouldn't force him. But if, well, but if one of us doesn't want to join, I'm not going. What? Not you two! <laughs> ah, I guess this is it. Ooh, beautiful. Let's see, let's see. Preferences. I'm gonna lower some of these. There we go. Hmm, did I fall asleep? That weird dream again. After the realization that you've fallen asleep on the desk, you sit up straight quickly, even though you don't have to. Your eyes are fixated on the scene outside the window. You take the time to listen to the sounds around you. The birds are singing in the afternoon. It seems like it's the mating season for them. It sounds so serene. I feel like this will be a nice afternoon. It doesn't last long, though, because when you look at your desk, a small puddle of unknown liquid can be found on the desk. A small puddle of unknown liquid, huh? What color is this? Ugh, oh, did I drool I was napping? To make sure that you did drool, you wipe your face and, yep, you were drooling while sleeping. Ugh, gross. I need to wash my face and wipe that drool off my desk. My nice afternoon is ruined instantly. <laughs> Once you finish washing your face, you grab a damp cloth and head back to your room. You wipe your desk with it and then toss it into the laundry hamper. Uh, you sit down and look at the window again. Oh, yeah, I was looking for ideas before I fell asleep. But I guess I spent too much time thinking about it. Ugh, what should I do? Your friend is going to be here in several hours. Instead of doing something productive, here you are, contemplating about what you're going to do. You even fell asleep not too long ago. The room is still a bit messy. I hope I have some time to think about the thing, I, the thing and clean the room after. It's clear that your room is really clean and neatly arranged, but you couldn't help but want to clean it even more. There's no reason to do it, but to be actually honest, it's not like it's his first time coming here. But why am I planning to do this? Like, is this even necessary? Ugh, this is stressing me out a little bit. Let me turn the music down a little bit more. There we go, okay. Wait, what's this called? Day 14, a friend coming over. Day 14? Oh, interesting, okay. Thanks to this, you've been spending your Sunday after your, your son, you've been spending your Sunday sitting in your room. You thought of doing something for him, but you don't know what to do. Your mind wanders about once again. Your mind wanders about once again as you look at the horizon through the window to the rain, to rest your eyes for a little bit again. Let's see. I remember what he told me about something. Think, Henry. Think. Hmm. I'll just. Oh, let's see. When I first came here, the clock is ticking. Time is certainly running out. You know you shouldn't be sitting around, but once again you're getting distracted. Oh bother. Uh oh. Two weeks ago. Oh. That would be 14 days. Day one. Oh, day one. After class. Nice. Oh, this is. Oh, production values are so well done. Uh, oh, what time is it? As you opened your eyes, you found yourself sleeping in a place that felt so fam so unfamiliar to you. Right. I just moved in. It might take a while before I get used to this view. You looked at the window. It seemed like the sun was already shining brightly. Feeling somewhat disoriented, you extended your right hand to reach the nightstand to grab your phone. Several attempts later, you finally got it and checked the time. 7.45. It's still too early. Uh, I'm still tired from unpacking my stuff yesterday. The windows were half open, some sunlight bleeding into the room, bathing it with faint radiance, but you could still feel the cold air engulfing your body. 
It's rather chilly here, too. I guess spring isn't quite here yet. It was spring already. You said that you just felt... You, you said that just because you felt cold this morning. Weird you got some sunlight. You should have felt warm, at least. Let's see. Oh, I love the ambient sound effects. File info. Okay. Alright. God, I like this screen. This is pretty cool. Once you were getting more alert, you realized that you had kicked the sheet off while sleeping. Come back to me, oh warm blanket! It didn't come back to you on its own, of course. You just pulled it back and wrapped it around you to make your body warm once again. You're now looking like a furry burrito. Oh no, the furry burrito has returned. Ah, uh, um, this is good. Still feeling tired, you rested your eyes a little bit more. It was still too early, and you had nothing better to do anyway. Except for school, but you hadn't realized it at the moment. Not until the moment when, as you were slowly drifting back into slumber, you felt a spark of energy flowing into your body, making it tense up and forcing your eyes to stay open. It seemed like your brain was starting to work. Oh, wait. Something doesn't feel right. You took a moment in your bed to remember something that you had forgotten while closing your eyes for a little bit, even though they refused to close completely. You got up, sitting on your bed. While you were, while you were squinting, you noticed the letter of acceptance laying on the desk. It didn't take long for you to finally remember something. Crap! I have a class in less than 30 minutes! Wasting no time, you jumped out of your bed and ran as fast as possible to the bathroom. Plunder to the bathroom, you just didn't care and shoved the bathroom door, and sh you just didn't care and shoved the bathroom door, causing it to hit the door frame with a thud. That is a nigh. This is a huge fucking bathroom! Oh my god, this is enormous! Jesus. This is a bathroom, this is like a fucking apartment. This is the a living room of an apartment. Ugh, I need to hurry up. You undressed yourself and left the clothes you wore earlier on the floor just like that. After undressing right there, you don't hesitate to take a cold shower, even though it's spring morning. Meaning, it's as cold as ice. It's not like you knew it was cold water, you just turned it on the wrong way. Ah! The water's too cold! Why am I doing this to myself? Ugh, let's just deal with it for now, Henry. It's only cold water. This is nothing to you. Except that was a lie. You were shivering. It felt like you just skinny dipped in a frozen lake. It's really cold. I regret this already. Despite abundant complaints from yourself, you showered with cold water anyway. The shower was unpleasant, but it was your choice, so no use, no use complaining any further. After finishing the quick shower, you turned the water off and stepped out of the shower. You couldn't feel your hands and feet anymore, so you quickly wrapped a towel around your waist and ran back to your room fast, fast yet carefully so you wouldn't slip. Without much time left, you rummaged through the closet. You could worry about it being messy later. For now, you just needed something to wear. There weren't a lot of clothes you could choose, since most of them were in the box, and you had no time to unpack them. Ah! You felt a cold, you felt a dull pain in the back of your head, making you stop doing whatever you were doing. Not now! Calm down, Henry! Once your head felt better, you continued rummaging through your closet. You grabbed whatever clean clothes you could find and put them on hastily. This is not the best outfit for this weather, but I can't complain now. Eventually, you got dressed up, grabbed your bag, and got out of the house. Hmm. Ooh, that looks like a typical Japanese neighborhood. The air around you was still chilly, and the birds were all up and singing. The clothes you, the clothes you decided to wear didn't help with the cold any. You joined both of your hands together and started to rub them, hoping that the friction caused by it would make them warmer. <sighs> oh god, it's still cold here. <sighs> Ooh, I wish it took more time to choose better clothes. Not sure what the time was, you checked your phone. You just needed to make sure you had the time before the class started. Dang it! I don't have enough time to strut around. I should just run. Maybe I can get some exercise and warm up while doing it. And hopefully I can make it before the class starts. Once the phone went back to your pocket, you started to run. If only you had a slice of bread in your mouth. This could be a perfect cliche late-to-school anime scenario. <laughs> And it turns out it was, this entire time. Not the best time to think about that. I don't want to be late. You kept telling yourself that you shouldn't be late and had gotten you lost in thought while running on your way to school. Now! Someone was walking out of the alley, out of the small alley next to the old-looking building. You, on the other hand, were lost in thought and didn't realize that someone was there. You bumped into them in the least graceful way possible. Seriously? Ramming into someone this early? Some balls you have, kiddo. Whoa, he's huge. That is a big dude. A big, tall tiger man was, star was staring at you with annoyance. His gaze was making you shudder in fear, but the fear of being late to school on the first day was bigger and more overwhelming. 
And unbeknownst to you, you'd been in his embrace, but not in a romantic way. It's more like he held you so you wouldn't fall to the ground. Huh, never seen you around here. You're new here. What's your name? Once you had some idea what was happening, you quickly removed yourself from his embrace. It seemed like you realized it as you felt him loosening his grip on you. S sorry He's scary. He said nothing as he grabbed your bag, and you thought he was going to hurt you. What was that? He I'm sorry! He you yanked your bag away from him, and then you ran away as fast as you could. I'm sorry! <laughs> That's silly. Whew. Huh. Huh, fine. Ugh. Finally. I'm here. What's up with that tiger guy? I bumped into him, he looked like he was going to murder me. Some people, I swear. It wasn't his fault to begin with, but you didn't realize you weren't in a position of making such comments. No use thinking of it, let's calm down. After you stood still to catch your breath, you proceeded to walk toward the entrance, but you noticed that your bag was open. Huh, did, did I forget to zip it? You saw someone walking towards you as you closed it. As soon as you took a step forward, someone patted you on the shoulder. Hey, excuse me. Stranger danger! <laughs> you turned around and hesitantly. There was someone neatly dressed standing in front of you. Um, yes? He's got are those painted claws? Uh, okay. I know this is sudden, but would you mind showing me the way to the English literature classroom? Who is this guy? Do I know him from somewhere? You kept examining him thoroughly. The view in front of you was quite pleasant. You were enjoying it until you heard a voice which snapped you back to reality. Are you still there? Y yeah, I'm still here. I was just... I don't know how to go back. How do I go back? Page down. Page down. Hmm? Oh. Oh, so I can't go back. Okay. Maybe I can change that. Can I change that? Can I change that? No. I cannot end the hidden... Uh, I don't know. Um, roll back slide. Oh, okay. Let's see. Nope, I can't do it. Okay. So, disabled. Alright, that's fine. Hmm. Wait, what did I just say? S sorry, I was getting a little bit distracted. I had a rough time coming here. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> so did I. I wish I could chat and tell you what happened, but I'm in a hurry. I see. Anyway, could you show me the way to the English literature classroom? Awkward. Um, English class? Huh, that's where I'm heading to. Sure. Well, it's true that I'm about to head there, but... But... I actually don't know where it is. I'm a new student. Hmm. Did you skip orientation? Yeah, I was excused. Ah, I see. Let's head in together, then. I'm sure we can ask around. I just hope we're not too late for class. Is he a student? He doesn't look like one. Ah, uh, now that he points at it, I'm also late for my class. I'll just make up an excuse. I hope our professor is the understanding type. Ready whenever you are. Hmm, I wonder if I should tell him no instead. He patted your shoulder after he didn't hear a reply from you. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay, just getting distracted again. Let's go! No use in complaining now. He already said yes. Since you agreed to walk him and neither of you know where the place was, you just walked along the hallway aimlessly. The place wasn't as crowded as you expected it to be. Maybe it was because you were late. The more you looked around, the more worried you got. You told yourself that you shouldn't be here right now, but you were still walking around with someone you barely knew. Not to mention he walked so slow. At some point, you wondered if it had anything to do with his bigger frame or not, but it's best not to ask him. He finally approached someone, and he decided to ask that person where the English literature classroom was. That girl was so small standing next to him, she was even shaking a little bit. Poor girl. The girl pointed at the end of the long hallway. You're already close to it, apparently. Once he said thank you, she didn't even respond to it and walked so fast toward the bathroom. The big bear guy just looked at her, confused. He's probably wondering if he said something wrong or something. He sighed out of relief. The short journey to your classroom was awkward, stress-inducing, yet pleasant. And it's finally coming to an end. However, you suddenly felt sad. You wish it had lasted longer. Maybe that was the reason he walked so slow. Nah, that couldn't be it. Eventually, you both stopped in front of the classroom door. From what that girl said, this is it. It is indeed. He pointed at the classroom label on the top of the door. Oh yeah, there's the word English literature on it. I didn't even realize that. Hm, <laughs> neither did I. If only we saw it earlier. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have asked her. It seems like he's a little bit upset. I should try to change the topic. Well, what are you doing here? 
I just wanted to know where it was, really. I see. Well, I wish we could talk more, but I'm late to class. I have to go inside while I still have time. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm sorry for taking your time. Thanks for showing me around, Mr... Henry Z Henry, that's my name. Ah, I see. Thanks, Mr. Henry. I'll see you very soon. Just Henry is fine. I'm not used to hearing people calling me Mr. <laughs> okay, Henry. Well, if you want to find me, I'll be here often. It's not hard to miss me, after all. I bet. But his size, anyone would have a hard time seeing not seeing him. And I enjoyed it, too. It was nice. That's good, then. I suppose I'll catch you in a bit. Talk to you soon, Henry. Did he say that he'll see me very soon? It just occurred to you that he didn't introduce himself. Oh, well, he did say oh, we'll see each other soon. <laughs> Once you were in the classroom, you noticed that the teacher wasn't there yet. You glanced over the seats. They were mostly taken. You scanned the area some more, and you managed to find an empty seat next to a lion guy. He was sitting there playing with his glasses before he noticed you and put them back on. I hope he's not a bully or something. As soon as you sat down, the door opened. The person who entered the classroom really surprised you. It's that guy from earlier! Well, no shit, he has the same class. Whew, thank goodness I didn't say no to him. But, ah, uh, that means he knew I, that I got here late. Now I know why he said that he'll be he'll, he'll see me very soon. Dumbfounded, you sat there staring at him. Huh. <laughs> oh, he's the teacher! Holy shit! Good morning, class. First of all, I apologize for being late on the first day of our semester. I had some troubles while coming here. My name is Parker Stone. You may call me Mr. Stone. I'm a new professor here in Highwell. So please, go easy on me, haha. <laughs> haha. <laughs> well, I don't think the details are important. If you guys have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. That's actually the shortest introduction you'd ever heard. He started the lecture right after. He tried to focus, but to no avail, because you were getting a bit distracted. So, he's our professor, huh? No wonder he had a different air when I talked to him earlier. He seemed intimidating and caring at the same time. And look at, look at that big body. Instead of listening to the lecture, you stared at him like a creep. Wha- Hey! Ah! Lion boy. Your classmate had been calling out to you for a while now, but you didn't hear him. Not until he waved his hand in front of your eyes. Hey! I've been calling out to you for a while now. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Hmm. I feel like I've seen him somewhere. What is it? Is there anything- is there something on my face? No, no, you just look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? He smirked a bit. He said something after that, but it wasn't the answer to your question. Can I borrow a pen? I forgot to bring mine. A pen. Ah! Sure. A pen for a stranger? What are you, an asshole? <laughs> yeah, sure. You snatched the pen out of your pencil case. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. I can't believe you still have that kind of pencil case. It looks old. Like, ancient. Maybe consider an upgrade. <laughs> uh, well, you're right, but someone gave it to me a long time ago. And it still works great anyway. I kind of treasure it now. Fair point. Yeah. You said that, but you actually didn't know who gave that pencil case to you. Or rather, you didn't remember. You didn't think much about it. Now it got you wondering. Say, you're into big guys like him, huh? W what? First of all, that was out of nowhere. He was right regardless. What you heard from him was quite shocking, and you shouted in response. Everyone, including Mr. Stone, turned their attention toward you. Everything good over there? He yeah, I saw something moving under my desk, and I was surprised. Sorry. You heard your classmates' giggles before they went back to listening to the lecture. As embarrassed as you were, you decided to stay quiet for a while. With everyone's attention back to Mr. Stone again, you tapped the lion's back to get him to talk to you. But what were you talking about? You mumbled something about his body. I can hear you clearly. It wasn't about it wasn't about my type. Similar though, nobody would just compliment another dude's body like that. Somebody would. At least they wouldn't do that with a predatory look like yours. I, is that so? <laughs> it's cool. No worries. I don't think it's a bad thing. More like, I don't really care. Well, I'm Mark. It's nice to meet you, Henry. Ah, so Markiplier makes his debut. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You tried so hard not to make any weird sounds that you can make you make you the center of attention again. Deep down inside, you were just amazed, panicked that he knew your name. <laughs> the look on your face is really something. Your name is written on your book. No, <laughs> it's nice to meet you too, Mark. Yep. 
He didn't continue the conversation after that, and you decided to listen to the lecture. Hmm. With class concluded, everyone was heading out while you took your time to put out all the stuff here to put out to put blah. Your time to put all the stuff put all of your stuff back into your backpack. Damn it, my my tongue. There's no need to rush after all. Mark taps your hand with a pen to get your attention. Hey, here's your pen. Thanks for lending it to me. Yeah, no problem. You heading home after this? No, I'm still very new around here, so I'm going to walk around the campus. I knew it! I thought it's weird that I'd never seen you around here until today. <laughs> well, there's, I mean, there's nothing really interesting to visit around here. Just a bunch of smartasses sitting around taking their sweet time to study. What? If you want a tour from me today, no can do. If you need advice on where to go for, go for starters, I suggest you visit the cafeteria. Trust me, they have good food there. Where can I find the cafeteria? It's not that far from here. You can find it easily. Just head out of this class and keep going left. It's at the end of the other hallway. Oh, it has a big sign, too, so you won't miss it unless you're blind or something. Heck, even blind guys can follow the smell. Alright. Oh, alright guys, looks like we've reached the end of our episode. This has been our first episode of After Class. Got some nice guys on display already. I'm looking forward to how this goes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!